So right now, I'm about to log in to my new WordPress blog where I've just installed Authority Pro, which, by the way, installs on any new or existing WordPress version 2.9 or higher. So I click Login, and what you're immediately going to notice if you've ever been in WordPress before is that there's a couple of extra options on the left and this cool gray toolbar on the top. And we have integrated this into Authority Pro to make your life really easy. So if I click on that, you're, what you're going to see is that all of the tools that Authority Pro adds, all the functionalities that it adds to your WordPress blog are now displayed here for easy navigation and very short explanations so I can go exactly where I want to go and do so very easily. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to the squeeze pages through that and I'm going to click again here on the tooltips just to show you that no matter where I am on the blog, the tooltips are actually configured to exactly what I want to do. So these are different options and these particular options here relate exactly to the squeeze page which is what I had chosen. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to a post and I'm going to go to a sample video post just to show you something uh, quickly here along the way is that Authority Pro allows you to add seven different types of media very easily to any post just from this drop down menu over here. So this particular one is a video post. But the reason why I came here is just to show you something that's extremely cool which is that the tooltips actually follow you around throughout the blog through whatever you're doing. So in this example here, if I was choosing the media uh, type for my post, it walks me through that. Okay, if I if I click over this, if I mouse over this main SEO keyword, it explains to me exactly what the main SEO keyword is, what I want to put in there, and how it's used. And the same thing is true throughout the entire interface, so that you'll never be left wondering what it is that you need to do, and you'll always know exactly what you need to do next, thus making these processes of very, very easy for you. But this is actually nothing compared to the full power of Authority Pro, and that's what I'm going to show you in just a second. Okay, so now what I want to show you is pretty much demonstrate the ultimate flexibility and power of Authority Pro. And in order to do that, I'm going to show you how we go from a full featured blog layout to something much closer to a sales page or very conversion-oriented review page layout. And you're going to see that I'm going to take stuff out of this page and add it in all with push button ease and automation and it's going to take a mere matter of minutes. All of it is going to be done live right in front of you. Okay, so now what we're looking at over here is a blog style uh, layout where we've got just a ton going on and a ton of content, lots of widgets. It looks great, but in terms of making it into a review, uh, let's talk about the things that make a perfect review that is built for conversions. So first of all, there should be no leakage. It should have a clear and attractive layout, and that also means having what you want on your page, in your page, where you want it, and it has to look good. You have to have cloaked affiliate links at as many exit points as possible so that it's highly like likely that your customer will leave your page clicking on an affiliate link and making you a sale. You need visual elements that direct attention and increase conversions. And you want the full page to be search engine optimized so you can get as much free traffic as possible from Google. And finally, you should have an exit script, okay, an exit popover, so that when people try to leave the page, you still have a chance to either get them on your list, make a sale, or make a sale for another affiliate product. So right now, let's just look at the elements that this page right here has. So first of all, it's a blog style review page. Uh, it's, it's got an attractive design for sure, it's got a lot of attractive visual elements, and it's got affiliate links all through it. Okay, So for example, these are affiliate links right here, just under the star ratings, that's also affiliate links. And in the content itself, we've got a bunch of affiliate links, so essentially, uh, even in the right sidebar over here, these are related product reviews, and each of them, if someone were to click here, they would be taken to the vendor website through an affiliate link. So this page is already heavily monetized. Now, uh, we've also got some visual elements over here, like, for example, the star ratings, which add a lot of credibility and give a visitor a pretty much a bird's eye view of, of how great or not so great the product that we're reviewing is. It's also got these social media features here which add credibility to the page and we've also got videos down here you know so a lot of visually appealing elements the page is nicely broken up uh, is very clear easy to read. 
Uh, finally, the things that I want to draw your attention to is that there's a lot of SEO elements on this page, and they might not be visible to the naked eye, but they're built into Authority Pro so that you get more love and more free traffic from Google without even trying. Like, for example, the title of the page here is Reverse Mobile, which is the exact title of the product that we're reviewing, and this is a link that goes back to this particular page, so it's reinforcing this page. Now, the content, in the content, you see that we've bolded... Uh, First of all, we've got a bunch of affiliate links, but we've also bolded the text, we've got it in H1 headers, we've got it all over the place, so that Google has no question at all what this page is about. And finally, we've also got this cool little feature that automatically links to itself from the footer of this particular page, so it's just making this page a lot stronger in terms of SEO optimization. But now, the thing is that this is actually a great setup for blogging, and it's perfect for giving out information. And a, but the thing is that a lot can be done to transform this into an airtight conversion machine that will actually double or triple the results that you might get if you were to send a visitor to this page in the way that it is now. Okay, so first of all, the thing that we talked about is leakage. So we said we don't want people browsing this website, okay? We want them staying on this page, reading the review, and clicking on our affiliate links and buying stuff. So we want to remove anything that might distract our prospect from reading the review, clicking the link, and making us the sale. So let me show you how easily that's done with Authority Pro. So let's start at the very top over here. So if I start at the top, I see that we've got navigation here. We've got navigation over the title, we've got navigation under the title. We don't want people clicking on these. This is a review page, it's a conversion page, so we want to remove those. Now let me show you how easily that's done with Authority Pro. So I'm just going to go to my WordPress administration panel on exactly the same post where I was on. Okay, so as you can see, it's reverse mobile, and now in the administration panel, I'm also on reverse mobile. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the top navigation. And this is done here from a custom uh, widget that's in Authority Pro. It's in the right sidebar over here. And uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scroll down here, and I'm going to go to this bar that says hide post navigation. And since I want, I can remove either the top navigation or the header navigation, but in this case I actually want to remove both. So I'm just going to tick that box, go back up, click update, and just give that one second to do its work. Now it's done, so I'm going to refresh. And as you can see, the top navigation has now disappeared from my website. Okay, so let's continue. What else is leaking visitors on this page? Well, the big glaring thing that stands out to me is the right sidebar. Okay, we've got an opt-in here, we've got ads underneath, we've got related reviews, we've got comments, latest posts, we've got social media stuff, all great stuff to have on your blog if it's just a regular blog, but if you want one page to be a conversion page, you don't want that on that particular page. And with Authority Pro, we can either have that on any page we want, or we can remove anything from any page that we don't want. So in this case, we don't want it, let's take it out. So now I go back to my WordPress administration panel and I'm going to take out the entire right sidebar. And you're going to see that I'm actually going to do that with just one single click. And at the same time, it's not just going to take out the sidebar, but it's also going to uh, pretty much change the whole post and make it so that now uh, it's a full width review or sales page style layout. Okay, So I go to custom post layout and I just select full width right there. That's all I need to do. Scroll back up, click update, and let's go back to the website and see what happens. Okay, so now that I'm going to refresh, you're going to see that the content is now going to occupy the whole page instead of just the left part of the content area, and the right sidebar is gone. Let's do it. There it is. Okay, so now if we just have a quick glance, you can see that my review occupies the whole page and that there are, there's no longer any right sidebar leakage. So if we continue going down on the page, here's the next item that I don't like. Okay, I want to take this out because two things. It's got links that people could click on and I don't want them to because they're not affiliate links. And secondly, it says that this post was made on October 15th. And I don't want that because if people see the date that it was made on, well, a couple of months later, they think that the post is outdated, when in reality it's not. So I don't want this here, so I'm going to remove it again with one click from the administration panel. So let's go do that. So what I do is I scroll down over here to the custom post options, and I'm going to hide the post date. So I just tick that box, and here we go for another update. 
back to the website, a quick refresh, and as you can see, those are now gone. So let's keep going down the page and removing elements or modifying stuff so that it becomes an airtight conversion machine. So we keep scrolling down and what we see is that finally we get to the bottom of the page and we've got these great SEO features here, uh, but they're not ideal for review pages because they can create leakage. So we've got SEO feeds over here and we've got a YouTube video gallery. Both of these are custom Authority Pro options. So I don't want them in this particular review page and I'm going to remove them. So I go back to my WordPress administration panel and I'm going to go to the media feed options. So I just open the box and instead of having them in content, I'm just going to remove them. So I've done that now. And now I'm going to go to the YouTube video gallery options and I'm just going to untick the box that says enable video gallery. I'm going to close that box, update my blog, and let's go back to the website and see what happens. So I've just updated the page and as you can see, the feeds and the gallery are now gone. So we're close to having a perfectly optimized conversion page. The last thing that I don't like on this page is that I actually don't want people leaving comments, okay? Because I want to be the one telling them the content. I don't want other people uh, perhaps distracting them from what I've said. So I don't want this comment box. I want to remove it. This is actually a feature that's common to all WordPress blogs, but I'm going to just show you so that we can complete the, uh, the, the finality of this page. Okay, so I'm going to go on discussion. I just open that. I uncheck the box that says allow comments. Update. And back to the website. And boom, the comments are now gone. So here's the last thing that I'd like to show you, or just one more thing uh, before I show you the final thing, which is that what if we wanted this page to become more of a sales page type layout and we didn't like this stuff here up top. We wanted the review to stop, start directly here with the content, but we wanted a big red sales letter style headline above it. Well, we can do that too, and I'm gonna show you just how easily that's done right now. Okay, so notice that now, when you land on this page, what you see is this quick text box and these very quick visual elements here. And instead, we want the review to start here and we want a big red headline. Let's do it right now. So I come down to the Authority Profile and Review Builder and I just disable the quick text box. And I also uncheck the box that says Enable Social Profiles Display. So now I just close that off. The other thing that I don't want over here is the, the Review Star Ratings, so I'm just going to uncheck the box that says to enable that. So now I've removed the content that I don't want and it's just time to add a headline. Okay, so what I'm going to do now to add the headline is I'm going to go to the sales post headline and styling options and what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the box that says headline text okay, and I'm just going to type in the headline that I want here. So I'm going to say is reverse mobile a scam. Okay, pretty typical headline type style and I'd like a sub headline also so, I so I'm going to say should you keep your money? Or is this the service for you? Okay, so now I've got, I put in a headline, I've put in a subheadline, and I've removed the boxes that I don't want. So I just go here, click update, and let's go back to the website and have a look. So the boxes are gone. The content's moved up. I have a nice big red headline right here. I've got a subheadline, and if we just go through this page, we have a nearly perfect conversion page. It's got the full width of the page. There's no distractions. There's no outside links. There's only affiliate links over here. So essentially, we've made this into a conversion machine. But the last thing that I don't like here is that I can leave this page without being interrupted uh, and being offered something else. Okay, as a marketer, that's not good. Uh, we want a last opportunity to either get the visitor on our list, get them to buy the, the product, or get them to visit another affiliate product through an affiliate link. So let's do that right now. We're going to add an exit script to this page so that when someone tries to leave, they get a pop-up message that tries to keep them there and get an action that's profitable for you. Okay, so right now, if I try to leave, boom, that's it. I'm gone. Okay, so now let me add a targeted exit script. So this is actually something that 
uh, other people sell for 57 or 97 dollars just for this one functionality uh, and this is just one of the something like 25 or 30 different features of Authority Pro. So what I do here is I activate the targeted exitor. Okay, so that just activated it for the actual page. Uh, and now what I'm going to say is I'm just going to type a message over here. So I'm going to say, wait, before you go, check out this exclusive... And I've selected a different affiliate link from a different uh, reverse phone program that I'm going to paste in there. Okay, so this is actually going to give me a chance to make a sale to this customer that I otherwise would never have had. Okay, so I just paste my affiliate link in the box right there. And that's it. I'm actually done already with configuring this perfect exit pod for my site. Okay, so now I just update the page and I'm going to click here to view the post as it appears. So if you remember, this is exactly how the post was when we left it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to exit the website. And as you can see, it's now clicked, it's now created this popover box that says confirm. Are you sure you want to navigate from this page? Wait, before you go, check out this exclusive offer. So if I click cancel, I'm actually now on the web page of Phone Detective and I've gotten through here through my affiliate link. So if someone were to buy from this website, they are cookied to you and you've just made a sale. What we've just done here is in a matter of minutes, we went from a great blog style layout of Authority Pro and we transformed that page into an airtight conversion machine. So we could just as easily rebuild that page by adding all the elements that we want, and that's exactly how you build pages using Authority Pro. You just drag and drop and turn on what you want and turn off what you don't want. So what I've just shown you here is, in fact, the tip of the iceberg of what you can do with this thing, but it illustrates nicely some of the flexibility and power that you'll have at your fingertips the second you install this on your website.